Hi everyone, welcome to today's episode of the Supreme Court Justice of America. So, here's the deal. This is actually my second take of me doing this video. Uh, I was doing so well in the last take until Katrina just started barging out of her room with all of her in her hands, heading downstairs, and, uh, and I can still hear her downstairs right now, but, you know. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna have to, you know, redo everything. Sorry if you hear my phone go off, my group chat's talking about Fortnite, and they're about to play Fortnite, and they're upgrading it, and... Fun! <laughs> but, uh, anyways, today we talk about Melville Fuller of Connecticut. He was alive from 1833 to 1910. He was in office from 1888 until his death in 1910. He was a Democrat. He was appointed by President Grover Cleveland. And his confirmation vote was 41 to 20. I would like to mention that he died on July 4th. Meaning that he's one of the very few important people that died on America's birthday. We have already talked about three other people on this channel that have died on July 4th. They're all three presidents. John Adams and Thomas Jefferson... Of July 4th of 1826 and James Monroe of I don't I honestly can't remember what year that was but I will put a link to all three of those videos in the description below so that way you can you know watch them for yourself all right so that part of the video is done. Um, let me jump over here so it's easier for me to read. <clears throat> All right. So he was in office for 21 years and 269 days as chief justice. Uh, jump over here. Now, when it comes to, you know, members of the court while he was, you know, in office, we have quite a, quite a number of them. And it's quite a long, extensive list. And this is where I kind of stopped in the middle of, you know, re redoing the video. So, you know. Anyways, here we go. Melville Fuller. I mean, we're talking about him right now. I mean... You know, you guys already know that information. <clears throat> Samuel Miller, appointed by Lincoln. Henry Brown, appointed by Benjamin Harrison. William Moody, appointed by Theodore Roosevelt. Stephen Field, appointed by Lincoln. <clears throat> Joseph McKenna, appointed by McKinley. Joseph Bradley, appointed by Grant. George Shiras, appointed by Benjamin Harrison. William Day, appointed by Teddy Roosevelt. John Harlan, appointed by Mc, uh, Hayes. Stanley Matthews, appointed by Garfield. David Brewer, appointed by Benjamin Harrison. Horace Gray, appointed by uh, Arthur. Oliver Holmes, appointed by Theodore Roosevelt. Samuel Blackford, uh, Blatchford, appointed by Arthur. 
Edward White, appointed by Cleveland. <clears throat> Lucius Lamar, appointed by Cleveland. Hal Jackson, appointed by Benjamin Harrison. Rufus Peckham, appointed by Cleveland. And Horace Lurton, appointed by Taft, which we'll eventually cover on Friday. <clears throat> so, there's quite a few, uh, there's quite a few, uh, court cases that went on during this time, so, I will pick one of the, of these that I have written down. <clears throat> For this, we're going to go all the way back to the year of 1903. Lone Wolf versus Hitchcock. <clears throat> In a decision written by Justice White, the court ruled that the federal government has the power to unilaterally breach treaties with made with Native American tribes. The decision allowed the federal government to take land from Native American tribes without providing compensation. So anyways, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's all we have time for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, we'll see you all tomorrow, on Thursday, we talk about Edward White. Stay cool, stay tuned. I really need to shave. I'm probably going to end up shaving tonight. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to shave. <clears throat>